So I wanted to do a video. The first one was going to be on Bill Cosby. I didn't. I didn't do it because I don't know. Everybody was talking about it, and it just felt like something I didn't. It's not that I don't care about. It's just something that was just not. Uh, I could pass on that. Honestly, I feel like he spent two years in prison for his crime. And, you know, he got his punishment and he was exposed. Everyone knows he did it. I watched a video of it and Preach did. I really love their um, content. I've been enjoying their content for about a year now, but, um, yeah, I was watching them and they were talking about how they felt that, you know, obviously he did it, you know, and it's, he admitted to doing it, you know. And that's my thing. It's just like, I'm like, well, he did it. And we know he did it. And we always see him for doing it and being guilty. Yeah. Having gone to prison for two years for the crime. And it's a crime, obviously. Now, the thing is, charging him and actually putting him in prison, to me, I mean, that's incorrect and improper and it's illegal considering they gave him immunity and so i'm like to me i just think it turned out better i mean than what it would have turned out like say they would not have taken advantage of that it would have just turned into a civil lawsuit and then he'd just be basically losing money, but he wouldn't have lost his freedom for two years. He can't take that back, you know? And I feel like it's on a more national scale since he had to go to prison for two years. Also, I don't feel like he'll probably relapse or do it again. He's very old. I don't think he's going to be doing this again to women. So what kind of risk is he? You know what I mean? I feel like he's been punished. We know it. We know he's guilty. Everyone knows he's guilty, you know. And now he's just free f for a little while until um, he's no longer alive. So, I mean, I just, I don't have anything against the outcome, really. I feel like the outcome was pretty good considering they didn't have a case. So, considering they didn't have a case, and he could have walked free this way, he walks free after two years in prison, well, that's pretty good. So, yeah, I don't think anything wrong with the DA's office. I mean, they did the best they could, and they turned it into a pretty good situation, you know, and they exposed him. So, that's kind of how I feel about the Bill Cosby situation. Um, also, I wanted to talk about, they were trying to compare it to the O.J. Simpson case. And that's one thing I don't agree with. I don't think this case is similar to the O.J. Simpson case because O.J. never admitted to killing his wife and her man. Excuse me. Excuse me, there's evidence that he didn't do it, like the glove and other evidence. For one, I mean, if you have a racist detective on this um, case, and he's known of this individual beforehand, for all we know, he could have been guilty of killing the um, wife, for all we know. I mean, like, somebody who is a racist, who doesn't like those type of people who are in interracial relationships and things of that nature, um, of course, you know, they might try and frame the black husband or ex-husband to, you know, ruin his life. So, to me, I've never really thought the O.J. Simpson case was the same. 
I might think it's similar or that there's a lot of evidence. I never thought that there was a lot of evidence in the O.J. Simpson case because the detective was completely crooked. He could have very well planted most of the evidence. So then there's no evidence, in my opinion. Here, with Bill Cosby, he literally said it. So, I mean, there's all the evidence you need. He admitted to the crime himself, so... There's really nothing else to figure out here. We know he did it. So, yeah, that's all I have to say on that whole Bill Cosby situation. Watching by...